All right. Um, Breakfast of Death Part 2. Now, I'm only doing this because I think I can, and therefore I will. Two pans, big nonstick, and the new carbon steel. What was my last Breakfast of Death? I don't recall. This will be a little bit simpler. I could have titled this uh, three meat, three cheese breakfast, but uh, we're not gonna go with that. First thing I gotta do is I got a cutting board. Yesterday was a stream where I did the steak dinner. Oh, look at that baby. Mm, you can kiss it. So, plans are, rinse this out now. Barkeeper's friend will just eat it. You leave it alone. Good. Eggs there. Actually, I'm doing three. If I want to be legit and I want to do three, that means I need ham and bacon and beef. Although ham is the same animal. You can't really do chicken for breakfast, can you? Alright, cutting up some of the steak. I'll try to keep the portions to the point where no one calls the, like, Humane Society on me. I'm gonna make these a thicker slice though, because I don't want, I want them to stay a little bit red inside, so I'll do two big thick slices of beef. That's enough. I'll do two, two or three things of bacon, and then a couple pieces of ham. I'll try not to puke. Three cheeses, I got Munster, American, and mozzarella. The mozzarella needs to get sliced. Oh, what a tragedy it'll be if the mozzarella touches the beef juices. Mmm. I sure we could use the same knife. This is a, a Zio's household. It does not matter if I use the same knife for all the things. That's probably enough cheese, actually. I can't possibly make... I'm putting both burners on five, and this is just for future reference for, of me. There. Because I, I don't... I've been living here two years and I still don't know how to wield this goddamn stove. So the three cheeses are going to be an American. One slice of American. Always put your deli meats into a real Ziploc bag. It's so much easier. You can combine them. They actually seal. One slice of Munster. One slice of American, one slice of Munster, one slice-ish thing of... Mozzarella, which I could probably cut them into smaller pieces. Now, as far as meat goes, that pan, we're doing five. I think five is going to be a happy little, happy little medium. Toast is in there getting ready to be ready. We are going to... Big enough pan, three eggs. I didn't have that many of the whites. And what kind of breakfast of death would it be if I held back? What's breakfast of death, but you don't really want to die? It's sort of like that. I wrote a suicide note and I didn't send it to anyone. Like, when you just college stress is getting to you, it's that sort of breakfast. Like, uh, I'm just gonna kill myself with food. You're not starting to smoke already. Why? What? What? There's something gajammy under there. All right, gajammy is a word. That's ready, we're gonna need butter. I'll tack out the actual bit of Kerry Gold I have for this. I shouldn't need, well I will need butter for that too. So how am I starting this? Is This is always the process that becomes the worst. It's like, all right, I want everything to finish at the same time. Put you down, put eggs away. Actually, I could put eggs away, I could put the ham away after I take some ham out. And I'm just taking out the ham. I wouldn't normally breakfast ham. But if we're doing three meat, three cheese, and I'm not going to take the bacon out of the thing and put that away. Okay. Milk. Milk. Miak. Fresh ground miak. 
Ah, open that one immediately. Nice. For those of you who don't have Talenti in your area, I feel bad for you. These pans are going to be... Yes, this will break the yolks. Yes, it will make it nice and fluffy. You can do this with a bowl jar. If you're careful, you don't drop it. Why are you smoking on five? Five shouldn't even be a thing. Nothing that's on that pan should smoke at five. Right, I've got 365. 300 towards the outside. 365 in the middle. 455. So either this is conducting heat so much better, or that burner is just fucked. I'll slow you down. I mean, I, I'm supposed to be putting bacon and, and steak in that. I don't want to crisp it to a goddamn hardened crust. I can't even put butter in there now. All right, we'll have to start the eggs, which I'll start the eggs with butter. Look how big this nonstick is. It's infinitely large. Perfect. We're also going to need, and I'll get it out in a second. You may recognize this method from Better Than Jay's Eggs. Plastics. Plastic fork. Preferably one you stole from Chipotle. That's important. That one can actually go up, and that one has to go down. Let's just... Fine. I'll do it towards the outside. Oh my god, it's instantly... Is it browning? It's not really browning. I might be able to, like, cook. Alright. Mm-hmm. I'm already confused by what's going on. Yeah, this should have been the very last thing. I just want to have the bacon in here first. The steaks are literally done. That, that, that's as warmed up as I want my steak. So, ultimate fail. See, the police are coming. And now I'm going to touch bacon, which means I'm going to have to wash my hands right after this. Wow, I'm so out of it. Two slices, two slices, ah, oh, three slices because I gotta get rid of this ham before this weekend, or this, before the weekend. For those of you who don't know, the way I like my bacon is soft and chewy. And I'm usually in charge of that. It's vacation time. Try not to touch everything, but I'm still touching everything. And that's clean. I gotta get that out. And I gotta put more eggs in. Put more eggs in. And I shouldn't, actually I shouldn't even need to uh, spray anything down. Wow, my pan is huge. That one's Oh god, it's curling up into a little bad. Oh Jesus. That's weird. All right. The ham we're gonna flip, and the ham is now living in bacon grease, which is not the worst thing you've ever done. You could admit to that. We need our cheeses in here. I'm just gonna squish this flat. Lay out one cheese there. One cheese here and one cheese I'll fold here. Wow, I feel like I need to use like seven more types, seven more eggs to get this to do it right. That isn't even enough to cover. What went wrong? I got him got this recording. I grab that. Can I get that enough? 
that actually did exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm gonna roll. I guess we're having bacon rolls. That's a whole new breakfast concept. I'm calling this ham is done. The ham is done. I'm gonna cut this steak up into little steakleets. Steakleets. I could actually throw it back in the pan. And this is not quite hot enough for what I'd consider, but now it'll be. My cheese is definitely melted now. Of course, I put the wrong fork down. Come on, non-stick. Yeah, do your non-sticky things. Oh, yeah. Well, that's three cheese omelet. And this is going to take all the effort to get clean later. Hi, Chewbacca. That's basically done. Yeah, oh, look at that. Mm. Back to the pan. And I'll leave the bacon for a bit longer because I like it chewy, but I like to not die or spend all day. I mean, honestly, if you had to spend all day on a toilet, my toilet's the one to spend it on. I can almost get it flat now. Get that back up to high. High end of low, low end of high. So now we're just waiting on perfect bacon, which I don't know what the hell this stuff's doing. The thick slice can, can do weird things if it feels like it, and this bacon definitely felt like it. Oh, good. I'm glad it's taking forever because I forgot my toast. Just like me to forget my toast. Rinse that out. Rinse this off. Look at that. Got both. That's cooling off. That's heating up. We may as well make chalk and milk. If I'm going for breakfast, I might as well go for breakfast, breakfast. And anyone who's ever been on vacation with me knows you go to a diner. He's getting the chocolate milk. Use milk booster. And that should be enough. Big squeeze, big squeeze. Another Talenti, by the way. Toast is doing its thing. Bacon is nearly done now. In fact, I'm shutting that off. The butter's still out. Butter is still out. Poor knife. I've seen so much pain and suffering today. Fucking cat hair on the butter. These are problems that only I have with Chewbacca. Put the butter on the toast. Let the butter melt on the toast. Time to extract the bacon. Whoa. No! Oh, I can't pick that up by hand. That would be suicide. Gotta clean the stove yesterday. I shouldn't need you anymore. You're done cleaning. You're not done cleaning at all. Done with you. You need to be washed. My butter's half melted. You touched bacon, which means you're you are blessed. You are truly blessed. So we're just waiting on some toast to complete this triple meat, triple cheese. 
Maybe it's not breakfast of death. Definitely didn't do the potatoes. And then, oh God, potatoes would be too much. Perfect. I like my toast blonde, by the way. For those future wives out there, wives out there looking, I like my toast blonde. Like that's just, you're scraping on there. That means there's plenty of, plenty of toast has gone on. There's not enough butter on that. It's actually pretty depressing. But that, oh, yes, there is. Look, I went straight through it. I'm going to take a picture of this, post it on the Z Cooks Consortium Telegram, which you can join if you uh, support on Patreon. We get, you get an invite. We currently, as of this day, there's like 13 people in there, plus the three cooks. I'll take a picture of it later. You want me to try it? Oh, I gotta take a picture of it now. Shit! Shit, Chewbacca. God, I got my phone. Why? Uh, Why was that through my phone? Shaky, shaky. Everyone thinks I just drink a, a thing of Chalenti every morning for breakfast. Yes, I have an excuse to eat this. I have a cooking channel. What's your excuse to eat it? One, two, three, Z Cooks Consortium. Boom. Include it with the thing, yeah, boom. All right, see you all on Patreon and on my live streams, which occasionally happen, but I don't announce them here. Let's try the steak first. Mmm. Beefy, still red. Perfect. Ham. Actually, it's developed a nice flavor. Ham. She probably wants a steak. And finally, the chewy flexible bacon finally perfect mm. see that that's ideal there we go next up palate cleanse mmm I call that hardly toast, buttered hardly toast, blonde. How perfect is this egg? Don't lose it all. No salt, no nothing. Mmm. Oh yeah. Look at that perfect, fluffy, gooey. No one can beat my eggs. No one! Bring it! Bring anyone who wants to beat my eggs. They will lose. Let's get the mozzarella here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, I just extracted the mozzarella. That's a shame. I'm going to eat this now without a camera on my head. Oh, man. I only eat where cameras in my head when I'm streaming. Right?